Hi everybody, Dave here from Amore Style Tarot. Um, I came across a really cool video that I want to talk about today, I wanted to share with you a little bit. Uh, the video, since since you're seeing this on my tarot site, is, is about tarot cards. Um, it had drawn me in because I thought, oh, this is kind of cool. We have the dark journalist talking about tarot cards on Halloween with Gigi Young. Sounds like a great combination. Totally captiv captivated me, drew me in. And uh, and then it turns out that, wow, this was a really long video, but it's actually kind of cool. You might want to take a look. So let's go look at that video. So here, if you take a look, you'll see that this particular video is two hours and 42 minutes long. It's pretty in-depth. Uh, goes for, well, they, uh, when they talk about it here, they're talking about CERN and they're talking about tarot cards to go with it. So there's some type of connection here. And if anybody, if you haven't ever seen The Dark Journalist, The Dark Journalist does a lot of research into the mystery schools, the occult. He wants to look into all the different things. What What is, what's the history of all of it? And who is involved in all of it? So he's, when when you watch this particular video, you see him bring up the people, talk about the people. And if you've looked into conspiracies at all, you'll make the connections to that person and what they did and how they did things. Um, the interesting part here is that in this particular video, who does he bring in? He brings in Gigi Young. Now, if you know, if you followed any of Gigi Young's work, she is a, a psychic and tarot card reader, uh, intuitive. And so it makes this intellectual researcher, puts, her, puts them together with a feeling intuitive to be able to talk about the tarot cards. And so they approach this video to talk about tarot cards, uh, and that's what I was expecting to hear. And, well, they didn't really get into the cards. So when I would expect somebody to review a tarot deck, I would expect them to look at the cards, talk about it, see how they could use it, see what the archetypes are on the cards, see how they follow the, the uh, what is it, the, the standard or the new feeling for the cards. How do they play the cards? How would somebody use the cards? in a real world scenario to give a reading. But that's kind of not what this is about. Um, come to find out, it's not what it's about. So uh, I took some notes. I went through this here and I, I kind of want, let me, I'll read through these notes and I'll um, see if I can get some thoughts triggered out of this. So uh, first off, really cool video. I recommend that if you haven't watched this, see if you can schedule some time. I put it on time and a half to get through this in less than two hours and 45 minutes. Um, and uh, But it's kind of cool if you don't know about the people that are connected here. Uh, you'll get more of a feeling for what I'm talking about when you go view the video. So um, here, basically, uh, there's a psychic detection, remote viewing. They talked about a couple of these topics. They talked about Edgar Casey and how he was connected to things. Um, uh, they talk about CERN, and one of the things that stood out that they've actually told the people about CERN is that they're going to investigate the God particle. They want to find the God particle. If they figure they can, they can tell us that they're going to smash light together. They're going to smash particles together in order to see if they can figure out what builds this stuff up. And meanwhile, they created this huge ring underground with electromagnetic capabilities so they can steer something up to the speed of light. So we'll go a little bit farther with this. Um, let's see, They with CERN, what's interesting there is that there's, if you, uh, if you remember back a couple of years, I think it might have been 2016, uh, somewhere in there, they, before they opened it up, it might have been 2015, they had a ceremonial video, a ritual. You can search online. I didn't for this video. But they had this mock sacrifice. This, uh, what, if you if you followed the black arts, you might be able to see that, oh, look, this is, these are black symbols. These are black magic symbols. These are the types of things that you would put into a sacrifice. And they create this uh, video and they put it online and uh, you only get to see bits and pieces of it so that you know there's this connection to the occult there somehow. And uh, so then we go a little bit farther and what, what they're looking at in this particular video, so what the dark journalists and Gigi Young are looking at are the, uh, the tarot cards, which are put together by a Suzanne uh, Traster. Don't know who she is, but... I did find her website, 
And so here, uh, here is her website. Here, here's her cards, the Hexen 2.0 Tarot. And so for me, being a tarot card deck creator and a tarot reader, I'm interested. I'm going to go look at these. And I encourage you, I'll leave the link in the video for this. Feel free to go look at these things. You'll find that there's... Um, there's a, a strong intellectual characteristic that they put into these cards, or the artist put into these cards, and they have some underlying themes throughout the whole thing. But um, what it really comes around to is <coughs> when uh, I kind of agree with what Gigi Young intuitively brought out of this. So maybe a psychic connection to it or uh, intuitive connection uh, when she was asked, how does she feel about the cards? And, and her point of view was, it's like it's the story of the people behind CERN. And so I took notes of that. That's the story of the people behind CERN. And that the cards are more of a ceremonial aspect of who it is that's worked together all this time to be able to put this together. Or who it is that's come up with the idea here. Um, and so it's kind of like... Uh, the notes that I put down here, it's like a magic spell for those who have eyes to see. I think that's what Gigi said or something like that. It's as if they put a bunch of information down for those who practice the arts that they practice to be able to see what's going on. And and then I'm writing down, I want to follow where they would talk about the fool, they talk about the magician, they talk about the three of swords, and I'm expecting them to go a little bit deeper into it. But it's, it's like there's a layer there, there's a block, there's some type of resistance that allows them or prevents them from being able to see into the psychic meaning of the card. And so what we really get is we get a little bit of intellectual discussion about it, and Gigi doesn't really get to go into it too much other than just share a feeling about it. But um, it, uh, as it goes on, you it's still there's a really good connection. You still get to see what's going on. Uh, 51 minutes, 40 seconds into it there was a question that was brought up from uh, somebody that had uh, called on GG services about psychic protection. So, so here is the, the world that we're looking at these cards that come with a really dark influence. If you look at the cards, you'll see that, you know, they're kind of negative. They, there's this um, really dark aspect to them. And so here, you know, if you followed any conspiracy stuff, you're going to look at these cards and you're going to say, wow, this, that was just, it's, there's just bad energy here. There's, there's this um, glorification of dark arts is kind of how I would see it. And, uh, and so Gigi mentions uh, in order to be able to protect yourself from these energies, uh, she kind of brought up something that I've intuitively known since I was a child, that uh you have to be able to, if, if somebody pre uh, sends energy your way, that's a dark energy, you have to be able to look at that, digest it, and transform that energy. You need to be able to know, uh, based on fundamental truths of what is and what you've experienced and what you've done, to be able to figure out what's your energy and what's somebody else's energy. <coughs> Ultimately, excuse me a second. <coughs> so, so what it really comes around to is that the the mind is going to create a thought pattern or a uh, something for you to think about. It's going to create that thought, that intellect, which rolls through emotions, which stirs emotions. Your body is a great, great tool for feeling and displaying emotions. And then when it gets through the emotions, it starts to manifest. Okay, so you get that uh, if you've studied the secret, you've done anything with regard to manifesting what your desires are in life. You think about the thought, you put some emotion behind it, and then it manifests. And so, so here, what uh, what she was talking about briefly that with that psychic protection is you need to be able to detect the energies, to be able to know where the border, where you are and where they are. Know what your thoughts are versus know what other people's thoughts are. And it takes a, a practice, it takes the meditation, it takes the understanding of yourself. Thus, you wanna practice the arts of consciousness in order to understand yourself better. And so, if there's a little spot that I recommend you listen to, it would be that particular location in the video. 
we're going to go a little bit farther. And um, one of the underlying themes throughout these cards that Gigi mentions and uh, DJ, the dark journalist, basically they're looking at it saying, wow, there's this <clears throat> uh, cybernetics that they talk about, that, that merging humanity with machines and machines with humanity. And it's, you know, if you've watched Star Trek, it's the Borg type thing. Well, um, here Gigi mentions that there's a fundamental difference between consciousness is not electricity. Electricity is not consciousness. And so being able to merge into the machine uh, that both of them in the video take it as, no, this is impossible, you can't do that. But then again, is it possible? Is it not impossible? Um, so basically they go into that thinking uh, that, look, so my take on it, I'll read my notes here. My take on it is that it's not about uh, moving a living being into a machine, but rather about using the machine to control humans. This is a link between propaganda and thought shaping in order to use psychic energy of humans. So when when I look at this whole situation here, that whole move to cybernetics, that whole way of merging humanity into the machine, being able to basically, to me, that the whole concept is, when you look at the tarot cards that they've created here, which glorify the people that have been doing these dark arts for many, many years, it's as if they're looking for ways to be able to use technology to be able to harvest human energy. And so if anybody knows that if you can get a group of people together and get them to emotionally involved in a particular topic or a particular thought, you can manifest the ideas, you can manifest that whole concept if you get the emotional energy behind it. And so here, you know, I kind of see that is they've been harvesting human energy for a long time. They've been doing things to harvest energy for a long time that, that are dark, that are kind of, they have to keep hidden. Um, looking at another one of my ideas here is that um, the harvesting of human energy by direction. So being able to, if you, if you can merge technology and humans to where you can create a virtual ra reality around the human, you can get that human to generate emotions based upon the reality that you've created for that human. Thus, you can create, you can harvest the energy that you're looking for. You can set an intention. So thinking about this differently, if you are an individual and you want to manifest a particular thing in life, then you basically create a thought, you create emotion behind that, and then you send that thought and emotion out into the ether in order to manifest something. Well, what if you wanted to do that on a bigger scale? What if you wanted to get a whole bunch of people and you want to manifest things that are in your uh, that are aligned with your desires, your powers, your uh, your desires in life, you, what you want to create, but you don't have enough energy to do it. So what you have to do is you have to basically either show people, show people how, get a whole bunch of people to join you and create that mass consciousness that all work together. Kind of like all these dark, dark schools behind these tarot cards that are all these dark people have been doing all this dark research. But what if you could use technology to push that on the people so that you can shape their environment and create what you want. You can create that energy without them knowing it. You've just manipulated them into doing something that they wouldn't naturally, they wouldn't naturally do. Um, so, so then I look at this and I went a little bit farther in this. It was, there, there's kind of a big spot in the middle that, uh, that didn't seem to go anywhere because they were talking about the cards the whole time. And then when it comes around to CERN, so what you see in the video is that the uh, that they 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 tie in all these dark mystery schools into the the uh, creation of CERN, and when I look at this, I'm thinking, okay, so this is they create some technology, and the thought came to me, kind of an intuitive thing, that they want to figure out how they can control light, and as we know, light is energy. When you think about the body. The body runs on light. If you've done any type of research into how the uh, uh, sugars break down, how the 
uh, the cells work to generate energy. Look in the science books, they have this little wave, they say, oh yeah, when the cell breaks down, it gives off a little wave, and the body uses it. Well, how can it use it if it's random? It's controlled by consciousness. Consciousness controls light, it controls the energy. So now, what do we have of CERN? We have this hydrogen collider that's, that is this huge electromagnetic device that is going to simulate particles at the speed of light. It's so what's going to happen? They're telling us that they're going to collide these things together and take a picture and see what's going on. But is that really what they're doing with this? Or are they really studying the energy and using consciousness to control that? Can think for a second. What if you could read what if you could create the energy that you needed? Like if you're going to create a thought and then you have to back it with power, you have to back it with emotion. What if they create their own objective and then they create this all this energy they flip the switch and the lights in europe dim and they create this energy of creating the light they've created something moving at the speed of light so you look at einstein you look at his you know if you get going to the speed of light you're like at this infinite phase this is a transitional phase that they could start to manifest things maybe they're practicing this maybe that's part of their dark arts that it's not quite what they've led us to believe, but it's just part of their mystery school. They're, it's their secrets. They're going to study how they can use consciousness to manipulate or manifest things. How, can they get what they want by using this power? Let me go a little bit farther with this. Um, let's see here. So, uh, so basically, I guess my take on it was that when, when I got to see uh, the Dark Journalist video here with Gigi and how they talked about it, it gave me a different perspective on where CERN came from, who was involved in CERN, the tarot cards that were associated with this to glorify where all the research has come from. And it, it makes me think that uh, or gave me the intuitive understanding that it is another one of their tools in order to try to um, create that connection between the thought of trying to get something done and then manifesting it in the real world. Can you actually materialize something into, uh, into a physical form from its energy, from the light energy? And in the case of CERN, They've got this huge electrical energy. They've got the electromagnetic aspect of it. And they're able to drive particles to the speed of light so that that particle act like a wave. And then what can you do with it? How can you do something with it? So uh, anyway, go look at that video. Go take a look at it. Uh, I think you'll be surprised with it. And if you look at it from the dark arts perspective, that there are people out there that have been studying stuff in the background. They've been doing things through all these different organizations that have been highlighted through these cards that have that are arts associated with generating, uh, the, the, cr creating the psychic energy, being able to get the emotional energy out of humans in an underhanded way so they can get their manifestation to happen. I see this as <clears throat> we're at a point in time where the humanity has grown to a critical mass, to where the natural element is starting to blossom. The people are starting to understand how they can do use their own psychic energy, how they can do their own manifestation. And through the internet, we're starting to get connected with other people that can do this. And so these people that have been practicing the dark arts for the last hundred years or longer, that are behind the scenes that have been manipulating the people or the mass consciousness because of their work. It looks to me like we're at a point in time where they're not going to be able to, their, their secrets are bubbling up, but the, the way that they organize to manipulate humankind, humankind is going to be able to recognize that. We're going to be able to tell where that manipulation is coming from and we're not going to empower it. So them 
have used to have this huge influence it's going to taper down it's going to be reduced because the natural elements the people like you and i that understand what's going on are not going to feed that we're going to allow that to not take our energy we're going to educate people so that it doesn't take their energy and be able to simmer this down to be able to bring it into a a level playing field where we can actually turn the tides on it to where we can convert this back over to a service-based humanity where we can we can bring out the technologies that help empower humanity rather than suppress humanity but anyway um, I wanted to put this video together I wanted to keep it shorter than this but um, you know if you go through the video tell me what you feel about this see if what I'm saying, see if you can relate to that, see if you can relate to what Gigi says, see if you can relate to what DJ says with this, and uh, we'll have a little discussion about it. But anyway, let me know what comes across on your mind when you watch the video. Talk to you soon.